Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Okay, so one of the things that you want to do is once you have the door ready to go, you want to sand it all. You want to lightly sand it so you can get rid of the shine from the lacquer. Otherwise, your paint is not going to stick to this one over here. Okay, so once you have it all sanded and you're ready for paint, yeah, you want to clean up everything and make sure that you don't have any dust and you're ready to paint. Uh, for this application I'm actually just using spray paint, um, satin color, and I'm going to use this as my base color so we can for the finish. Remember to get the glazing finish, you don't really need the paint to be perfect, just want it to be spread throughout. Um, you don't really have to worry about it in sections like this one where you can see through the paint because all that's going to fade with the, uh, with the glazing. So what, you do, what I think you do want to make sure is that you cover most of the areas and try not to go too heavy on the paint otherwise it's going to run. And, Run is one of those things that you don't want to see in this finish. And that's it. Let's just let it dry and when we come back we can start working on the glaze. Okay. So now we're gonna start by using the glaze. You don't want to use a whole lot of glaze here, you just want to use enough around the area you want to be working in. And you want to keep it on one direction. It all depends on the style that you want. Um, how you want the finishes to look, but on this particular one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it so it goes linear. That's the reason why I'm only going in one direction. And uh, Another thing is try to try to not make it too even though. Glazing is about having texture and colors on it and having a certain finish. So you don't want to be completely even, otherwise it's gonna look just like paint. Now remember when you're doing glazing, you can go as heavy as you want, so you can keep wiping it off until it gets really light. I like to make mine a little heavy, show a little more grain, but it's up to you, it's up to what design you want to have. What I like to do is, I like to let the glazing sit for a few seconds it dries fairly fast and then I grab a rag and wipe it with the rag in one direction once again that all depends on your design one direction don't worry about this size of here I usually what I do is I make it go on the size of time to create a frame now, here's a tip for the glazing. Try to go 
really thick on the corners. And that's it.